Well, the KTM RC390 doesn't need any introduction. It being the pioneer in a segment which was previously untapped in our country. There was nothing as brutally aggressive, agile and telepathically handleable. And it was a track ready setup. Well, from the factory itself, KTM took the RC390 into the market and it took it completely by storm. But mind you, it was not a toned down road bike. It was a proper track machine. It was the closest thing they could manage to make to a Moto3 racing bike for the streets back then. Just for convenience, you had headlights, taillights, pillion seat and a horn. The RC390 was an absolute weapon as a bike and at an amazing price point, it took the market by storm. As there was only the Ninja 300 which was overpriced, the CBR250R that did not fulfill your craving to go even faster. And after 8 years, the KTM RC390 has finally received its first major update. Hello and welcome to the Drivers Hub. I'm Kiran and today we are here at the Chakan test track to test the all new KTM RC390 and find out if this update makes just as much as impact as it did on the RC200. Well, it might look like a brand new motorcycle with all the revised bodywork and the bits everywhere. But underneath all of that, it's the same old 390 that has been carefully tuned such that this is more usable on the road. But when you take it on a track, it's more of a maniac. Otherwise, it looks exactly like the RC200, but it has a few bits that is new. That is one. Uh, the upswept exhaust which is made of aluminium and stainless steel and can cover so it does sound nice and also give a nice feel and finish for the motorcycle and the major update that we have always wanted on the RC390 it gets the brand new TFT display which also has KTM My Ride so you can connect your motorcycle to your mobile answer your calls manage your music everything on the go while riding your motorcycle based on the new split type trellis frame as the RC200 it doesn't feel that far off from the smaller brother. But when you step aside and look at what all is new, you realize how different this is compared to the older gen. The brakes are almost a kg lighter thanks to the new 4 pot bi brake calipers and 320mm rotor at front and a single pot 230mm setup behind and a ton of electronic backing. More on that later. The front forks get a new setup from factory but it's not adjustable. Why KTM? Why? The rear shocks come with preload and rebound adjustability and the airbox boasts of a new design that allows the bike to breathe 40% better. Now all this sounds damn impressive if you ask me. But what tickles my pickle is the new remap. Yes, this might be the same old trusty 390 DOHC. But hey. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Plus, in this new state of tune, the RC390 produces a newton meter more torque. Enough of blabbering. Let's take it for a spin and see what's what, eh? Well, post ride, you can look at my face. I'm all sweaty, I'm tired, but I have that smile because this bike is totally worth it. It's beyond telepathic and comfortable on the corners over here at the test track. And I'll mind you, the problem that the older generations of the RC390 had where you had to ring the hell out of the engine to get the power, that's gone. Because of the 40% bigger airbox, I'll just tell you one thing, the banking corner normally would have taken in 4th of 4th gear 
But over here at fifth gear, over 110, 120, I'm able to carry the speeds into the corner and then into the V Max, and the response is just amazing. A few people might nitpick it's lost the top end, but then again, on a track, more than the top end, the average pace matters, and I think that's where KTM has hit the nail on the head over here. The suspension is perfect, the engine response is just too good, the clutch is light, the gearbox is slick, the quick shifter does its job post 6000 rpm and that's when you'll really be using it anyways. The Metzeler tyres, they have sufficient amount of grip thanks to us riding it very much later in the day where the road is warm enough and the tyres also get warm. So there's ample amount of grip for anyone up to a novice or a rookie rider. But the moment you go very hard, you'll realize you do need better set of rubbers. But then that is only for the 2% and the rest 98% will be satisfied with the Metzillas over here anyways. Once you're on the saddle, you immediately feel the difference compared to the older generation of the RC390. Well, I'll name the ones which are completely obvious. First, the handlebars are 14mm higher. But mind you, the moment you want to go aggressive, you can just take the Allen key and lower it down up to 14mm and you have your setup sorted. The foot pegs are perfectly positioned. You have enough amount of cornering clearance and the tank. This is a steel tank which is almost 14 litres. That's almost 4 litres more than the previous generation and the shape is just perfect. The moment you get into a corner, you can lock your thighs in and also hang off the bike whenever you want to have the grip. You can hold the bike and you can be confident whenever you're getting into the corners. The suspension are brand new from WP, the Apex line. The front has 10mm of more travel and the rear has around 10 to 15mm of more travel. So what this does is that it makes the bike more comfortable and usable on our Indian streets so you won't break your back when you find a bad patch of roads over here but mind you when you go on the track until a certain limit you can really push this bike hard and there will be at times where you think that you have not reached your own limit yet well I've already told you what's new on the RC390 but if you still want to know more you can look at our RC200 video the link somewhere here or here but anyways I'll get you up to speed Revised chassis, it has, it's based on the new twin uh, split trellis frame. New exhaust, it has a brand new electronics package that has a bi-directional quick shifter. IMU based ABS and traction control which is a must especially for people getting into this segment as their first bike or a second bike and they really want to go hard. Uh, the fuel tank is 4 litres bigger that means you have a bigger range and thanks to that you can also grip it nicely. Uh, the suspension is new and that's about it. A few things I forgot to mention that the seat is also new. Where the older RC had a wooden plank in the name of a seat, this new seat really does give your bum some sort of support in longer rides. Moreover, the main aim of the new Gen RC390 was to reduce the unsprung mass of the bikes. The wheels and tyres are now significantly more lighter, so are the brakes and other components here and there. And even if this new RC390 looks bigger in size, it's actually 1kg lighter than the older gen. More importantly, the new RC390 now feels like a motorcycle which has two personalities now compared to its older brother which was a one trick pony. The new RC390 is much more usable every day because of its better ergonomics but that hasn't compromised the agile precise nature of it on the track. The RC390 is the ultimate track weapon for India. Thank you very much for watching this video. Go check out our new website thedriversup.com where we are posting daily news articles and interesting automotive stories every day. I will be posting a more comprehensive review of the new RC390 on the website very soon. Till then, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.